Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. So it must be time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning crescent moon under the astrological sign of Leo. This is a new moon reading for the sign of Libra. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node, Libra, Holy Spirit, angel guides. Oh, what? Wait. Okay. Mm. Mm. Libra. Whoa. Show the world the real you. You know, we can't hide who we are in the end, right? Eventually it comes out. Surrendering to the divine. We know that God made you just the way you are. And you should, there should be no fear when it comes to you showing the world the real you. Yeah. Everything God made is perfect has a purpose. There's something you've been praying on, contemplating, thinking about. New moon in Pisces could involve a Pisces and Aquarius Libra. It doesn't have to, but it involves you. Hmm. Definitely in prayer, I hear you praying about whatever it is to come, whatever you want to show, are being led to show. Spirit's telling you to do something, to exhibit something. Now's the time to do it, okay? <laughs> he, that's what he just said. Now's the time to do it. Show the world the real you. Show me what you're working with. Mm. Okay. That's a, a song. I don't know who does that song. Hi, that saying. Tell me more for Libra, Holy Spirit. Okay. I am. Okay, Libra. Yes. Yes. Oh, bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck bottom of the deck. Okay. Libra, you open up with the Ten of Swords. But if you do, your life will become even more complicated. If you do show them the real you, things can get even more complicated. Okay? That's what I hear. I don't know what... Yeah, the Ten of Swords are things getting complicated. It's also others passing judgment on you knifing you in the back haters oh boy yeah things things can become very difficult but you know when god's in control and he's telling you to do something because he's made you just the way that you should be but you keep thinking about it there's some doubt on who you are on whom you belong to Oh, why do I say that? Okay. Because you've been the emperor. You've always been in spirit. Mm. Mm -hmm. But now it's like time to either go to the next level or... Or to change, to grow. You know, the emperor never stops learning. I always say that, Libra. And um, is not afraid to be moved to the next level, to be pushed, to be nudged. To Whether he wants to go or not, he knows he's got to do. The emperor does what he has to do, not what he wants to do. That's what Spirit just said. The death card is here, right? Because this is about the em emperor going through a transformation to prepare him for a new journey. That's how Spirit works. So Libra, um, doing what your intuition is telling you is going to prepare you for a new journey. Mm -hmm. It's going to take confidence and courage, no doubt. You've been mulling this over for a while. You've been in contemplation, going back and forth, the two fishes, you know, fish, the head, I see it. 
yeah, going back and forth. Hmm. Uh, there's uncertainty because you don't see uh, the end result. You don't know how things are going to turn out. Mm -hmm. And the spirit and spirit says, you see, oh, you are seeing as much as you can believe right now. You're whatever you see is what you believe. Mm -hmm. So if you don't see further, it's because your belief is littler. <laughs> it's not as long. So you, whatever you can envision happening in the future as a result of what you've been contemplating, what you're preparing yourself to do, um, between that, you know, preparation takes focus and concentration. That's why you're not supposed to be paying attention to the end result right now, right? That's what he's saying. Yes. You're just going through transformation. And some of you are just understanding that you're being called again. The emperor. You're being called out of the cave to go on a new journey. And to... Uh, you're bringing an end to your solitude. God. Some of you are actually being called. I mean, you could go um, into ministries. Whew advancing spiritually mm -hmm. what you don't see ahead is you are going to love this the ten of cups you know so often um, we don't see far enough we don't even look far enough to know that we're going to be very happy with answering our calling sometimes you can't even see that but you know god knows everything right the all-knowing and that's why he wants you to just have faith because so sometimes our physical sight isn't going to take us far enough to make us feel comfortable we have to rely on our spiritual eyes on holy spirit to even make it through this journey. Okay, Spirit, that's what you just said. You know, even to get through tomorrow. Yes, yeah, Spirit. Every day we got to surrender to God. Who's in charge? God. Mm -hmm. What else, Spirit? Yeah. The Emperor. See, the Emperor's being called out of sleep, out of a cave, out of solitude out of relaxation, being called back into duty. Yeah, that's you. You're being called into a higher duty. And the transformation is spirit preparing you for that. He never sends you out cold. He's always going to prepare you, right? You have the emperor twice. This is about the emperor doing what the emperor has to do. He's always open to change, always open to spirit's calling, always open. Yes, you'll never see him not answer the call. The emperor always answers the call, knowing that the journey is going to make him better than he was before. Mm. Bottom card. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's higher learning, more awareness, right? Yes, very wise. He's been called before and he answered, so... You're, you're being called. I don't know what you're being called for. Leave me a comment and tell us what you're being called to do. Um, I, it's a great thing, I know. It's a wonderful thing. Somehow it's being of service to others by making them feel happy, feel good, doing the right thing, helping somebody. I'm telling you, somebody is being called here. Yeah, there are others telling you, get out of here, this won't work, you can't do that, this is that, and yeah, but the emperor doesn't listen to what others say, he is guided by his internal compass, which is his intuition, which is Holy Spirit, okay, but yes, they are there, the naysayers, the haters, to try and get you to stumble, to fall, of course. What else, spirit? What else? Okay. Boom. Virgo. Whoa. 
Libra. Yeah, the haters are there. That causes you to like be introverted. So something happened. That caused you to pull back. And now like spirit is asking you to come back out again. Some of you are truly a star. And the bottom of the deck. It could involve an Aquarius. But you've healed. You, It's time to show the world the real you. Divine's been telling you this. You're the emperor. You're ready. The emperor's always ready. <laughs> He's always ready. When he calls, there is no hesitation, you know? And and prior to him being ready, he was in solitude with spirit. I'm telling you, this is a, a major spiritual transformation. How do I know? Look at this. I, I had this in my hand, but I didn't drop it. But it's here, dag nagget. <laughs> Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcanas. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this 11, 11 on the clocks. It's rare. Something rare spiritually. It's an awakening. It's a, another confirmation that you are the emperor and that you're needed. He has a new journey for you to go on. There's preparation with the death card. It's an end to your solitude. He's going to prepare you. And then he's going to send you on this new journey. This is a calling. It's your intuition. You've been here before. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Spirit. What else do you want to say for Libra? They're being called. And to negate the naysayers. Don't even listen. Cover your ears. Cover your eyes, too. <laughs> That's what Spirit just said. Mm -hmm. What else? Anything else from this deck, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides? Libra, New Moon. Yeah. This could involve two males. A Taurus. Yes, he told me that, too. It could involve two males. We are all God's children. Mm. Ooh. Yes. If it does involve two males, I see why you feel this would cause the Ten of Swords. Mm. Thorns and hardship. Mm. Yeah. Gay rights are a very hard subject. Um, if it is two males, I can't negate that. Spirit told me to say that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's why I also said we are all God's children. Mm -hmm. mm. <clears throat> yeah, but you are going to feel good about yourself when you're able to be yourself uh, when eyes aren't judging you yes and the way that you handle that avoid other eyes judging you is just show them what they need to see you have spirit behind you you open up with surrender to divine libra he says it's time your intuition's been telling you this. What is your intuition telling you to do? Like I said, leave me a comment. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me, because I know and you know. Whatever it is, it's something that it's time. Take a little step and he will bring you all the way. Because he really wants you to go on this new journey. This is about you embracing this new moon. Uh, this portal about manifesting, staying in that energy. This entire month is so charged that any energy that you harnessed is what you're going to get back. Mm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> you have the hermit twice. It could be a Virgo. It could be a Virgo. You know, both of you are okay with being by yourselves, but you're not okay with being without each other. Oof, I don't know where that came from. 
both of you are okay with being by yourselves, but you're not okay with being without each other. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's time to do something about that. Yeah, things need to be revealed. You shouldn't be enduring any hardship for wanting to live your life. Yeah, they're here mocking you. Whatever they, when whoever they are limits their interaction with you. Especially when it comes to love. Yeah, change is a constant. This is a variable that is always changing. Mm -hmm. But you've received divine communication that now is the time. That you can't live in the shadows forever. I, this is what I'm being told. Yes, yeah, somebody, Libra, needs to show the world the real deal. And that's by coming to terms with it within yourself first. Ooh. Yeah. Confronting it. Right? Stop running from it and confront it. Surrendering to divine. You know, if you uh, surrender to divine and communicate it to divine from your heart, first of all, he only knows your heart, right? He don't care about everything on the outside. That's man. We care about that. But he's looking at your heart, your intentions. And he knows the sincerity of what you are bringing to his attention, right? Whatever you've been running from, afraid to show the world, afraid to be true to, uh, it's time. It's time because he's going to use that to help him in the future. That, whatever this is that you've been running from and now you're confronting, he's going to use that on this new journey. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he's been telling you, well, go ahead. Well, what took you so long? Well, I'm glad you finally made it. But with the hermit here, I don't see, maybe this is a time when you are internalizing it more and more and more, say, saying the words to yourself before they come out. I don't know. Getting honest. Yeah, you're not a victim. You are ready to act like a pawn. You're not a victim. You're going to act like a pawn and make a move. Yeah, I see the hermit here, but I also see you coming out of this victim mentality, you know, and worrying about how others are going to treat you after they find this out. And you're acting like a pawn, you know, a pawn can take a king. <laughs> so you can win. You can win as long as you're ready to be real. Mm. And to expose whatever has been in the dark. Everything done in the dark always comes out in the light. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I feel like you are a pressure cooker, like a Pepsi bottle being shook up. You're going to explode. You have to let this out. There's something that you have to let out. It's been building up over time. And now's the time to show the world who you are. That's right. They're going to love you. If they're going to love you, they're going to love you anyway. All right? If they're going to hate on you. Well, we know how to deal with haters, right? And if we don't, we will learn. Sure enough, that's what I got for you, Libra. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. Libra, listen to the other signs in your birth chart so you will get more of a well-rounded reading for this new moon. And Libra, I'm so glad that you are coming from under this pressure, that you're ready to make a move. Yes, I do. Um, that's what I see happening. You know, um, being the hermit means you're in company, good company too, because you're in company of spirit. You are. but And he's preparing you. We already said that for this new journey. So... 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Mm, kisses. And Libra, until the next moon phase. Namaste.